Hi there, I'm Sherry Smotherman Short from Painless Blog Analytics. Today I want to show you how to add a new owner or a new user to your Google Search Console account. Google Search Console used to be called Google Webmaster Tools, so if you hear someone say Webmaster Tools, what they really mean is Google Search Console. Now, why would you want to add a user to your account? Well, if you hired someone like me to help you with your blog, they'll need access to your account. I use your data to give you recommendations on how to grow your traffic. Now let's add a user to Google Search Console. I have Search Console bookmarked, so I'm just going to click on my bookmark. Now you may need to log in if you aren't already, but I am already logged in. When I go into my Search Console, I have this menu over here on the left, but if your screen looks like this, all you need to do is click on this little hamburger icon next to the words Google Search Console and you'll see your menu here. Here at the top, you're going to see the name of a website. That, when you see that, that means that the results that we're seeing over here are for this particular site. Mine is defaulted to my Cub Scout Ideas site. I also have access to a client site as well as my Painless Blog Analytics site. And I'm going to change the name so that we're looking at this particular blog. You'll first need to decide on the permission level that you'll give your new user. For Google Search Console, there are actually three options. The first option is Owner. An owner has complete control of their Google Search Console. When you first set up your Search Console account, you have to prove that you own the website before you can have access to the account. After you've done that, you can add other owners. An owner can impact the way your site shows up in search results, so be very careful about who you add as an owner. You can also add a user and pick between two permission levels, full and restricted. A full user can see all of your search console data and can make some changes. A restricted user can see most of your data, but they can't make any changes. Adding an owner is a little different than adding a user, so I'll show you how to do both. I'm going to start with adding a user since that's the option you'll probably use most. First, let's click on the settings gear icon at the bottom left side of our screen. You'll see a screen with your property settings. We want to click on the users and permissions tab. Next, you're going to click on the blue add user button in the top right and then you enter the email address of the account that you want to add. If you want this user's access to be restricted, all you have to do is click this little arrow and choose restricted there, but we're going to leave it as full. Next, you're going to click the add button. And now we see this new user in, in our users list. When you finish adding your user, just click on one of the options over here in this menu to get back to your results page. Now I want to show you how to add an owner. We're also going to go to settings like we did before. We're going to pick users and permissions. We need to click on these three dots here. I'm not quite sure what to call it, but since this is the hamburger icon, I guess we could call this the hot dog icon. Click on it and then click manage property owners. This is going to open up a new tab for you. You'll see your website listed below properties. Click on the site to open up the owner screen. You'll see details here about how you are verified as an owner. You can see I have quite a few verification attempts here, and that's because I was checking the process before I started making this video. What we want to do is click Add an Owner right here and enter the email address. Then we click Continue. You can see that a new owner has been added, and if you click on verification details, you can see that they are verified because they were delegated from the, the original owner. Now, when you're finished, you can just close this tab out. When you refresh the users and permissions page, you can see that this account is now an owner. Again, you can just click overview or any of the options over here to get back to your account data. So that's how you add an owner or a user to your Google Search Console. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.